All right. This. <laughs> they put Gulf Coast uh, drive shaft. We'll open this up, and this is what they, they wrote on it. Which is cool. Problem is, we're on the other side of the state from Detroit. <laughs> I don't really associate myself with the Detroit guys. I'm just kidding. Uh, anyways, let's open this up and show you all this deal. Because I was pretty fascinated in how they actually make this drive shaft. And this is a Billy bad boy drive shaft right here folks they show you the whole process of how they actually make this thing still light like this oh, see. all right and you saw how it actually twists this thing up to actually um, test the the strength of the glue and from what I understand, when this thing is, when the billet aluminum uh, land joke here is pressed in there and glued in there, it is permanent. Like, it breaks everything except the glue. It's amazing. So that's pretty sweet. And then I was looking at how I could, I go, oh sweet, I'll, I'll put this in there. <clears throat> except, as you can see, you show, we showed how we had to, we got the, the slip yoke on the transmission. And we got to push that all the way in from the back. Well, I probably can. But I'm going to have to chop either the transmission or drop the rear end in order to get it through the drive shaft tunnel. So we're going to, I'm going to have to end up doing that when we get back on to working this. And see, I like that, you know, there, there's the way we wrote it. One O's send it brother that is what we plan on doing for sure these little magnets are glued on there too I don't or not magnet hmm but anyways super that is that is nice that is you see the comparison picture here of the old drive shaft to this drive shaft and uh, this is big bigger than normal so super happy about that 1480 U joint which is way larger than 1350. So this is this, the rear end, <laughs> transmissions, they're as much as you're gonna get. So Lord willing, we're gonna make that thing, uh, we're gonna get this thing knocked out of the park and we're gonna, we're gonna do really good. I like this. Uh, much thanks to the Gulf Coast guys down there. That is, uh, pretty neat and I'm just sitting here looking at it kind of amazed by it like I said saw how they uh, watch the video of how they actually build this thing it's pretty it's pretty interesting so I gotta pull something out of here in order to get the drive shaft in the tunnel and uh, it is larger diameter than my other drive shaft but I have enough clearance to fit it and uh, uh, Dewey is doing his due diligence of unpacking the box that's already unpacked and um, so anyways, I'll show you all that stuff as we get ready to do the final assembly. But this is pretty, pretty bad boy. I like this a lot. That's cool. Now, the other thing that I got was I also got the uh, windshield from Pro Glass for it. So let's look at that. I haven't even opened this up yet. I'm going to put this somewhere nice because I don't want to screw it up. Put it back in its tube. Back in its holder. There we go. And then... We got a windshield. You may be wondering when am I going to get to this? Uh, right at the last possible minute, obviously. Uh, just got a lot of stuff going on. There's going to be some videos coming up uh, this week of the SML. And uh, I see that that uh, Bob down at Pro Glass has invested heavily into the staple market because there is more staples holding this box together than I have in my entire shop. So, <laughs> we'll open this up the old school way. We're just gonna cut it open. So, 
kind of check this out and I'm hoping, I believe it's all pre-drilled, which is going to make my life a lot easier. Oh yeah. Put this down. There we go. Don't walk on the box, dog. Back up. And here. He has it pre-drilled, so it should just all bolt right in, and we can uh, just set it right back in the car and rock and roll. So that'll be nice, and I'll be able to see without glare and all swirls from me cleaning it with something I shouldn't have cleaned it with. So that's pretty awesome. Keep the dog from eating all my packing. And then, I got, I got, I got, I got. yeah, that's right. <laughs> Oh, then you've probably been hearing, it sounds like it's running right now, the Rottler guys are here right now. So coming up, I think on probably Wednesday, we're going to have the whole video on the Mega Hone over here, the king of all hones. And let's go over there and check this out. I'll give you a little quick preview. This is, this is Ed and Derek. They're cur currently part of Rottler's road crew, so they come and watch the machines work. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So they got it all set up, so I can give you a real quick preview. What they're doing right now is they're breaking some of the diamonds in. Is that still diamond in there? Yes. This is a junk broken LS block. So we're just sitting there just honing all the stones. How many sets are you into? Well, this is our second set of diamonds. We, second set of diamonds? We've uh, trued in the D size holders, and now these are the C size holders. Oh, ah, okay. In. And once we get this other cylinder done, then we're going to begin truing in the CBNs along with the diamonds. Okay. We, we do that simultaneously so it trues in the CBNs much faster. Okay. So I'll explain all that later. But this is. Uh, this is pretty neat. <laughs> I like it. And this is actually showing you the straightness of the board, basically. And it'll go down in auto cycle if it detects any taper. I'll show you all that stuff later. So come back on Wednesday and I'll show you the video on on the mega home, king of all homes. And maybe we'll get these guys to do work. We'll see. Alright, oh, got new stuff for uh, Dewey shirts. So check out the Dewey shirts, make a comment on what stuff you like. So you're gonna vote, what, or what I want is comments on uh, what Dewey shirt you like. Uh, we got just these three designs and we got a sticker design coming up. Um, so there's some kind of things there. I also bought the dog vest, or the camera vest for the dog. So we're gonna have uh, the Dewey cam at some point in time, but I gotta get him to wear the vest for longer than 10 seconds without trying to chew it off. So we're gonna, see I'm gonna, I'm gonna condition him to wear the vest, and then I'm gonna condition him to put something on the vest, not the camera, <laughs> something on the vest until he gets used to it. Then we'll put the camera on it and we'll see if we can get him to carry that thing around. And uh, like, subscribe, buy some merch. I appreciate all of you. Come back tomorrow, we got something going on. And then Wednesday, we got the home stuff coming up. And then I think we're gonna have more stuff on Thursday, Friday. I'm Steve Morris, have a great day.